I just popped into my friend's over here to her house and I just gave her some roses from our garden. Um, they expect better closet than I've done on there. So where are we? Up shop. Still in Pinjili, we've just gone doing a bit of shopping and we're at this park now, I'm going to have a barbecue lunch and then go home. It's 29 here apparently and I'm what's it in Perth? It's 24. Currently 8, 10, I've been home from the gym and I've just made myself a post-workout snack, just some Greek yogurt with fruit. I had dinner quite early, a small dinner around 5, before 5.30, before we went to the gym, so this is just a little snack. After working out but my room is such a mess. I always do this, I go through stuff and then I lose motivation so I went through two of those boxes and then my plant fell off so I had to vacuum that. Um, so now I can't be bothered to do it anymore but I have this mess in the floor so I'm just gonna not worry about it now because I'm a little bit sad at the moment and I'm just gonna let my chill and then go to bed and do with that tomorrow because I just can't do with that right now. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to eat this and watch some YouTube. So it's just past 12 o'clock. I just popped into my friend's over came to her house. And I just gave her some roses from our garden and a soap and some healthy stuff that I know she can eat, like strawberries, blueberries, and avo. She's doing like a keto diet at the moment, so I was like, I'm not going to get a chocolate or anything. Pop them in the fridge, put the roses, and left a little note and the soap on the counter to say check the fridge. I forgot to take a photo of it. I just quickly did the dishes before I left, and now I'm rushing home. I'm so hungry after my workout. So I'm going to drive home now, and I'll talk to you guys later. This is my lunch, just egg and avo on wholemeal toast. This is one of my favourite protein, healthy, fat, post-workout lunches or even breakfast. So I'm just going to eat this now, maybe watch YouTube. So I'm doing a painting for my friend. I've done the outline. The flower, she wants some 101, one to do. I don't know, I'm going to put that there or move it up high underneath the word. And then I've just done a mountain outline, the sun rising. And I'm just doing some flowers and a little bit of greenery and some trees there. I might leave it at that or I might do a hanging, some hanging flowers there. But I'll see. So that's basic outline.
Okay, so it's currently 8 past 10. I just pulled into work. I'm a little early. I don't start till 8 30, but I'll go in a bit early and just chat to the teacher because I feel like with relief, like you should do that so you know what's happening for the day and stuff. I've worked with this student before though. Um, but yeah, I am feeling a little bit tired. Didn't get enough sleep, had a rough night last night. I'm going to try and be a bit more disciplined though and use off the grid and just knock on my phone. Because listening to the songs and watching the video helps me go to sleep in a way, but at the same time, it doesn't. So I need to learn to not rely on that and to just read, read the Bible and do stuff like off my phone and try and get to bed at a reasonable time. But last night I actually prayed that God would give me work today. I just had this feeling, I need a distraction, I need to go to work, I'm going crazy. My mental health is not good at the moment. I didn't work all last week. And yeah, like it's Thursday. I was like, please, Lord, just give me some work. And he did give me work and hopefully tomorrow as well. I quit my childcare slash after school care job of June. After it was very quiet for a few months. Lockdown that we had. So, and then I just felt like I couldn't go back. And I just wanted to focus on the school. Um, I got another babysitting job, so... I just thought it was too much so I quit because it was giving me so much anxiety and I hated it actually to be honest so but I've decided to go back because they kept on asking me to go back and I just had this feeling I should because the school term and the school year is almost over anyway and I thought well maybe extra money and work because like obviously in the summer holidays I won't have the school work. Yeah I'll just see how it goes but it's already caused me so much anxiety because like, I'm having trouble logging into the app and they're not really sure what to do either so they'll call me this afternoon and I hate phone calls. That is one of like things that I hate is talking on the phone. So they called me a couple of times and I haven't answered because <laughs> I feel really bad but I just can't like deal with that right now so hopefully this afternoon they'll call me and just get it all sorted. They called me this morning to tell me that they'll call me again this afternoon to work it out and asked if I could work today but I said I couldn't but yeah maybe tomorrow. I'm sure they'll have a shift tomorrow because they seem really desperate but I'm kind of hoping that I can work at the school tomorrow because I much prefer that but anyways that's for today and then um, I feel really bad because this morning it was a bit chaotic because I ended up taking the car. My mum had an appointment and they actually sent me the request for today at before 7, so like, oh, before 6 actually, 5.57, and then I didn't see it after 7 because I slept through my 6.45 alarm and then I saw it. I had this feeling that I should check my emails to see if anything came through and I saw it at like 7.10. Then I had to call my other work because they I missed a call from them. And yeah, it was just a bit of a run, running around, so I feel really bad. 7.30 when my mum was like, oh, can you take the bus? And it's too late because that's when I, I have to catch the bus at 7.25 to get here on time. So anyways, I took the car and I felt a little bit bad because my dad had to end up taking my sister to this thing because she doesn't have a license. And my mum had to ride her bike to the appointment. I'm planning to go to the gym this afternoon I'm going to see if my friend wants to go as well and try and fit that in today. I've been to the gym twice this week and it makes me feel so good. Motivation to get there is hard sometimes and just to do it and in the moment it's hard but I think it's really good for my mental health at the moment especially now with like stuff going on in my personal life to need that stress relief and sweat and I feel especially when I'm doing the weights class I look at myself in the mirror and I think like, I'm a badass. I need to tell myself that. So anyways, I'm just going to maybe fit in a quick devotion before I go and use the bathroom and put my lunch and stuff away and go talk to the teacher. Talk to you guys later. So it's now 7.30. Just got home. I'm going to hop in the shower now. Uh, my friend and I just decided to do a body balance class at the gym, which is kind of Pilates, yoga, stretching, 
glad that I did that because I'm super sore from Tuesday and Wednesday and I'm so tired today I'm and I didn't sleep well last night as I said before this morning so yeah I'm just gonna have a shower now and, and I need to make my lunch for tomorrow I'm actually working 7 30 to 4 at a childcare tomorrow and I'm a little bit nervous about that because I haven't worked in childcare in ages I know what to expect and I'm actually not really childcare trained as well so sometimes that can be overwhelming as well I've been to this place I think twice but not for this long and from my experience they weren't too bad and then this is what you get for having on call jobs so I think I probably accepted that around five maybe just before five by the time I got off the phone and then at 5 15 the principal from the school messaged me and asked if I was available again to do the same class I did today and I had this funny fit of said to, to the childcare work that I wasn't available because I had this feeling they call me two days in a row because people are sick or whatever but I get flustered because I hate phone calls and they'd been calling me for the past couple of days as I said so I felt bad I was like I probably should accept a shift because they've been waiting days for me to actually have work and I want to be in their good books because I know that the school will always be there and they'll always call me and I know that they have backup EAs if I'm not available I was like you know what I'll just do it anyway and I'm the type of person like I'll keep my word I've already promised them I'm going so I'm not going to be can't come anymore because I've got other work unless I'm seriously ill or something so yeah it's just this internal battle that I have oh, gives me so much anxiety because I'd rather go to the school because I know that more it's what I'm trained to do more pay you know what what's done is done I'm gonna go to this childcare tomorrow and see how that goes yeah I'm just telling myself to just give it a go and it's good for my resume it's good for experience good for the money and in a couple of weeks school will be over anyway and I can just focus on childcare and see how I go if I hate it I can quit again I think it's been four months since I said that I was leaving I think it was like June 28th so just over four months so it's probably actually been about six months because during lockdown uh that was about May when things were starting to really have much work from them and a few days from the school so I just prepped my lunch up for a little muesli bar and hummus and avo to have with my chips a pear and I've got my sweet potato and chickpea patties to have with this mix of Beans. Now I'm just going to have my yogurt and berries and make myself this tea. Okay, so it's currently 8.40. I've got my yogurt and blueberries and my sleep blend beauty drink thing. So I'm eat slash drink that. And I've got a candle on and my aroma diffuser. I'm going to allow myself 20 to 30 minutes max more on YouTube, relax and do something that I enjoy because I've been going all day and then um, put my phone, set my alarm and put my phone off and then read until let's say 9.30 up at 6. I can't do math right now. Yeah, that's like eight and a half hours and hopefully I fall asleep straight away. I'm pretty tired, so yeah. Look at all this baby dribble, baby food, whatever. Who knows what else on my shirt. It's just past five, I'm gonna have a shower now. June, how are you? Okay. Well, it is, but it's dried up. Yeah, it was a Oi. So WA just got this thing where you can recycle cans and get 10 cents each and we've picked up probably five or six already. Did you film this morning when you were doing it? Yeah. 
I can't see the can. Oh, there are people like, what the heck are we doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, smart. Yeah. Yeah, oh. 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 Hey. Hey. And it's it's not a can, you can't put the no. stick in the hole. Oh, just... <laughs> Shows the turban. <laughs> do it slowly, don't do it so rough. Yeah, now slowly again. You're yep, right, yep. Doesn't matter. No, do you need the barcode? I don't know, does it need barcode? No, but doesn't need need to have the thing that's no, 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 we'll no, get it then, but what is it even <laughs> What did they put on it? Like But what's that? No, but you were still Golden gay time on and your cassette some tea. Oh, it's a gold. Currently 2.40. My friend picked me out. We went and got a press tea. Should have to get some Nintendo Switch.